Welcome back. All right, so we're continuing on with the BMW, the 335i. Now, as we had mentioned when we did the charge pipe, we found some oil residue. We've kept going forward. Obviously, we've got the stock intercooler off now. And this is a very, it's a front mount intercooler. It's a very low point in the intake system. And it's kind of one of the things common to BMWs and Volkswagens uh, with a low mounted intercooler that that's another place where oil can pull up. So when we got this off, we tipped it up, and, and this is what we poured out of it. So there's a fair amount of oil. Well, it, it's not a bad amount of oil, but there's definitely oil here. Um, from, the, from the amount of road grime and dirt and bugs and stuff on this intercooler, the guess is that probably this intercooler has not been off the car ever. So there's probably 70,000 miles that it took to accumulate this, which is a big positive. But there's still some accumulation there. And we've seen that that oil vapor is absolutely working its way upstream because not only is there oil in the intercooler, but it's working its way into the charge pipe, which is right underneath the throttle body. So it is making its way all the way into the engine. And that is one of the common problems on these, on these 335Is. As we've mentioned before, they're direct injected. So there's no fuel that's washing through the cylinder head or the valves to clean all that stuff off. So over time, this can build up gunk. And if you start having misfire problems, you're, you're pretty much left with pulling the intake manifold off and media blasting it or cleaning it to try and get all that carbon off and then you start over again. So with the direct injected cars, that's, that's one, of the, one of the main reasons that this is a problem that we want to resolve. But something else to keep in mind with these cars, because you are spraying the fuel directly into the cylinder, one of the reasons you pick up efficiency with the direct injected engine is typically the, the manufacturers will up the compression radio, ratio pretty significantly. Um, having a direct injected gasoline engine with a turbocharger on it that's running 11, 12, maybe even 14 to one compression ratio is not uncommon. And the reason is, again, because you're spraying that fuel directly into the cylinder, you don't have to wait about, worry about pre-ignition uh, because you can hold that fuel back until the piston is, is just below top dead center and then spray the fuel in right about the time that you want it to ignite. And so because of that, you can get away with running much higher compression, and there, that's where a lot of the efficiency comes from. But again, with this oil vapor, as that oil vapor works its way into the cylinders, it can lower the effective octane rating of, um, of the fuel, or, or, or basically be more prone to pre-ignition or detonation. And that's, that's another motiv motivating factor that, that's maybe not talked about as much as far as why you'd want to do everything you can to prevent um, any of that oil vapor working its way into the combustion chamber. And so that's where we've, we've put on this, this catch can. What we've done is we, we just installed a Mishimoto catch can. Um, it's, it's a pretty simple routing. On this car, you know, with all of the prodding around that we've done thus, thus far, there's just one connection between the valve cover to the, to the rear turbo inlet. And um, the Mishimoto system does a pretty good or a very simple job of, of jumping into that. It comes over here to this can. And it's a small can, but um, you know, talking to Mishimoto, they have different size cans, and, and so the hope is that they've done testing and they know that this can is something where you know, if you empty the can every 1,500 miles, every oil change, what have you, you know, that, that the accumulation is not going to be so quick that you start pumping out a ton of oil from the catch can. And, and based on the volume that we're seeing here in the intercooler, um, it seems like that's entirely plausible. So this is where we're going to start. It's basically the same starting point that we had with the WRX. Um, just to, to try and catch that oil, remove that extra chance of any of that oil vapor getting its way into the combustion chamber, causing the deposits, causing the gunk, and also you know, giving us more risk for pre-ignition or detonation. So um, yeah, hopefully it's, it's going to work out well. And it's, it's kind of a footnote. Um, you know, we're, we're doing all of this at the same time because we knew we were going to have to take a lot of stuff off to get to the, to the engine cover, to get to the coils and the plugs. And I will say that if you're going to go into one of these cars, if it's a stock car like what we have, if you're going to do all of this at once, it makes it a ton easier because you know, when we've gone in to do the, the catch can, for instance, everything was already off. So it just made it a lot simpler. So that's just kind of as another footnote. If you're going to dive into one of these cars, to kind of knock out these, these common problem areas all at the same time, it's going to save you a lot of time and effort because you know, getting that front cowling off and, and whatnot it, it can be a little bit cumbersome, but if you can take out three jobs at the same time instead of taking the cowling off three times, it's going to make it all the easier. So, so yeah, that's why direct injection cars are probably 
are probably going to benefit from something like a catch can even more than a port injected car and um, Definitely something to, to look out for. You know, if you're if you're doing any of your intake piping, if you're doing your intercooler, anything like that, if you're seeing those signs that oil is moving through the intake track and getting its way into the engine, you know, all the more reason to to put in something to try and catch that, to mitigate that, um, you know, before it becomes a problem. So, thanks for watching. Stay tuned. There's still lots more to come with this car. Uh, we greatly appreciate your support, and stay tuned for more flat engine tech tips.